Hi, I'm John Hyde from BBJ Sim Racing, and today I want to go through ways to set up multiple controllers in Euro Truck Simulator 2. American Truck Simulator will of course be the same, and the techniques we go through here will probably be of use with titles such as Bus Simulator and Farming Simulator. Basically, ETS2 has a three controller limit, so I get a lot of questions from potential buyers asking if they will be able to use my controllers with ETS2. The answer to your question is yes, and I'm going to show you how to set up controllers over the three limit without having to change stuff in the .ini files. Because even if you feel up to doing that, it's still a pain in the ass. I'm going to use a shareware program called Joy2Key that allows you to take an output from your game controller and map it as a keyboard output. This means the issue of controller counting will never arise and you can use as many controllers as you like. I've set up ETS2 on my main racing PC. This has six game controllers connected to it. Standalone wheel, pedals and shifter and three BBJ Sim Racing button boxes. Setting up the wheel in the onboard mapper was ok but everything else was a struggle. To make progress I would have had to disconnect a number of my devices. But I don't want to be doing that and having to re-plug stuff up every time I want to race a different game. I downloaded joy to key from joy to -key .net. The download is a single zip file. I then unpacked it onto my desktop. Okay, here we are with joy to key open. Um, I've already set this up once, but I've started a blank profile called ETS2 demo. Uh, now to work out which joystick is which or which controller, you have to do a bit of detective work. Uh, the first time you close I think joint a key it will produce a configuration log file in notepad form and there it is and this basically gives you the configuration of all your uh, controllers or joysticks now the button box I want to know I want to use I know is called generic USB joystick and there's two of them connected to this PC so device 1 says generic USB joystick and device 6 so I know the device I want to use is either 1 or 6 and my wheel club sport wheel is device 2 and there's some buttons I want to configure on my wheel so the devices I want to look at at the moment is device 2 and device 6. Uh, I've got all this stuff at the moment opening onto the desktop so I don't have to find it which is pretty cool. Right here we are in the main joy to key window. Uh, you can see it says six joysticks are detected but it's only showing options for two so we need to change this two to a six here and refresh I think yeah and now we've got all six now I already know which joysticks I'm programming but if I didn't you can now do a bit of detective work to identify what your buttons are so say for instance I didn't know which buttons were which, what I basically can do is assign a, a something or other to each one. So button two is A, I'm just assigning assigning stuff to them at random basically. Let's do four. So now we've done that. If we were to open Notepad. and 
hopefully, when we press on our buttons on our button box. Yeah. So now this button that I'm pressing, I know is button two. Similarly, that's button one, button four, and button three. So that's an easy way just to map all your buttons so you know what you're allocating. So close that and Actually, I think it's quicker to do this by right clicking. Why don't we show it? Clear all button assignments, there we go. Right, I've written down the assignments already for Euro Truck Simulator. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just assign them up now. So Button 10, I want to assign to light, which is L. Button 8, I want to assign to hazard light. Which is F. Button 6, I want to assign to wipers, which is P. High beam, I want to assign to 9. Radio player I want to assign to four. Which is R. Trailer hitch and unhitch. I want to assign to seven. And that's T. Okay, that's that for now. So we'll save that. And um, next thing to do is we want to open the uh, joystick two, which is my wheel. Now. The actual wheel functions, it let me map them in game, but it wasn't interested in letting me assign buttons. So we can assign them in here even to the even to things like your steering wheel. So all I'm gonna do is put indicators and shifter. So left indicator I want to be on 8, which is square bracket. Right indicator I want to be on 4, which is the other square bracket. Shift up. I want to be on the right paddle, which is button five. I 
and shift down is button six, which is my left paddle. And let's control. Okay, cool. So we'll just save that again. And now this should be set up and we should be able to run Euro Truck Simulator with six devices attached to it. So let's have a look, see if we can. Okay, so all it remains to do now is to start up the game and see if our changes actually work. So, let's get on that. Right, so I'm just going to select a job, jump into a truck and uh, see if all this stuff is mapped correctly. Where's it going to go? We'll keep it in Britain, Liverpool, Cardiff, carrying 22 tonnes of potatoes. Sounds like one I can't turn down really. Right, and here we are. So let's unfortunately it's daytime, but we still should be able to see if the lights come on, yep. Right, so that was parking light, dip beam, high beam. Hazard lights, yep. Wipers. I shan't bring the radio up for the purposes of this. The other things we assigned were the buttons on the wheel. So we've got left indicator, right indicator, and we should have the paddle shifters. Yeah. Okay, so we're good to go. Right, that appears to be the way out. So that's it really, that appears to have worked out well, so sorry I can't talk and play games at the same time. That goes to show you can uh, map unlimited amounts of controllers to Euro Truck Simulator with uh, Joy to Key. Always catches me out how well these lorries brake at low speeds.
I obviously if I was like mapping buttons in earnest I'd have mapped over a lot more functions but for the sake of this short video I think this has all worked out rather splendidly well. And now we're going to Cardiff, what could be better than that? Right, well I think I'm going to sign off. I really hope this has helped. And uh, if you're concerned about crooking up one of my controllers, or indeed anybody else's controllers to uh, ETS2, hopefully this is uh, showing you how to do it, or one way how to do it. But like I say, uh, American Truck Simulator should be exactly the same. Uh, this would definitely help with bus simulator using this technique and certainly games like farming simulator as well you'd be able to uh, use regular button boxes with them using joy to key so thanks for watching and uh, I hope you have a good time with your gaming